best I men's physique know. athlete in the world. We actually gained 11 pounds. Buckle down, let's kick some ass, keep me up to the throughout the week. This is where we turn things up. This is where we turn things up. So last week, we got five plates for 13 reps. Yeah. So now we're moving on to a five and a quarter. You know it's gonna be a heavy weight when you get, you get that nervous tick. Come on. Uh, one, two, three, yeah, come on. Let's go. Get the move. 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 Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Come on now. Good. 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 Bro, I want to be the best in the world, man. Be 12 weeks out. That's what was going through my head. Alright. Oh, I gotta down. Alright, so last set of the day, we're currently crunched for time. In a few minutes, we actually have to go get our body fat scanner done for the halfway point of our prep, but we still have to finish a little bit of biceps. Luckily, biceps is not a muscle group that we need to focus on, so one hard, intense set, 100 reps in under five and a half minutes. Let's work.
Kind that of work. was a full workout in one exercise in five and a half minutes. So ever since my last prep, prepping for the New York Pro, I started getting DEXA scans done. And ever since, it was really just an initial phase for me to learn a little bit more about what was going on internally. Of course, we use our eye tests. We use extra data points like the scale and try to get a gauge of our trends, but nothing like the insight we get from DEXA scans. Now, typically, um, or at least last prep, this was the scan, so it was the second scan after the initial starting phase of that, that kind of indicated where our trends were going. And you know, honestly, you know, in prep for the New York Pro, you know, it wasn't necessarily the news that we wanted to hear, but that was gave us enough knowledge to talk with our coach, reevaluate the game plan, and then when we got our next scans done, we made the necessary adjustments in between in order to see results that we needed to. So right now, we're at that uh, 12 week out mark, that, that center point of this prep so far. And the initial phase in the beginning was to try to grow. So I'm expecting you know, some excess body fat compared to the uh, first initial starting test. Um, but what we're trying to see is our trend in muscle mass. So last prep, we actually lost a decent amount of muscle mass from the start to you know, that midway point. But then we were able to turn it around um, and, and get a uh, better trajectory to uh, go on and you know, qualify for the Olympia. So regardless of what today's trends you know, indicate it's extra data points to put forth towards the rest of this prep because we have a significant amount of time to uh, improve. And uh, halfway point, man, we're right around the corner, 12 weeks out from the Olympia. We're feeling good. It's the strongest I've ever been. So I'm curious to see how the data points are, are translating. Yeah, so last time you went from 223, almost 224 to 214 was your drop. So almost 10 pounds of lean mass at this point between the scans and this time you went from 223 to basically to 21.5 um, so you cut it from 10 pound loss to a pound and a half loss despite being basically the same lean and being your heaviest right so let me just see here so you're leaner now with more muscle than you've ever had before um, keep so. it and keep in mind like this when i first got my initial scans it was two months after me competing for sure so yeah eight percent being eight percent realistically at that point was still me coming back from 100 percent being you know, so changing. like you know obviously everyone's different stages and we see people at this point in their prep be all over the place but i think you know if your goal is to get to like a six percent yeah. right like I, in I, want, I want like a 5.5 is that your goal yeah okay so i think 5.56 whatever I think 10 is a good place to be right now because you know you can lean out and you know that happens, but to be able to hold on to the lean mass for way longer now, mm -hmm. when you do lean out, it should look dynamically different, right? And like you said, you're stronger now too. And that's where sometimes the lean mass number itself doesn't tell the whole story, right? Because sometimes it's if you're stronger, your resting tone's usually higher too, right? So now the muscle has a better presence than it would have previously. So the lean mass number itself isn't everything, but the fact that we had that big drop previously and now we do not, I think shows that you learned from the DEXA last time, made the appropriate changes to your training and diet and fixed that gap. So everything is relative, right? So this is data points based off of previous data points. That's how we compare it and overall, Today, you know, we got the data we needed. Um, as expected, a little bit higher in body fat. The beginning phase of this prep was to grow. You know, we had our health phase, we felt amazing. Now we're transitioning back into a prep. And, um, you know, as expected, with our calories as high as they previously were, um, we put on a little bit of body fat. But with that body fat, um, we have never been this strong. We have never been this lean for this heavy of weight. And now, Moving forward, when we get our future scans done, we're gonna get it done at six weeks out and then we're gonna get it done right before the show. Um, we wanna see this trend line, we wanna see this begin to trend at minimum straight <laughs> yeah. or up, ideally. Yeah. Um, but right now, again, we're feeling good, man. 12 weeks out and last time at this point, we lost, what, almost 10 pounds of yeah. muscle? Yep. 10 pounds of lean muscle mass. So right now, being that, you know, the trend is only down like a pound and a half or something, um, 
we're trending in the right direction. But very soon, we're going to make sure to uh, amp some things up, and on the back half of this prep, you're going to see some. You're going to see some things. So some of you guys might be wondering, what the hell are we doing? I'm leaving Megan. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But on a serious note, we have been working our asses off for the past year and a half, Juan and I. And Juan lives an hour away from me. So every week, some days, multiple times a week or some weeks, we meet up and we create a vision and we bring it to life. And throughout that time, it's a lot of communication, whether it's Zoom calls, FaceTime calls, regular calls, text messages, voice messages, you name it. We have multiple streams of communicating, but I had an idea. What if we were able to communicate a lot more often? Juan has been one of my best friends now over the last year. And this man has, he has changed my life. And it's no question that we have done some amazing things together and we're just getting started that's the best part and i want to i'm very big on efficiency whether it's building team reform to what it is my personal brand to what it is whether it's prepping for the olympia i'm all about efficiency and one thing i feel like that's been lacking a little bit is our ability to be ex extremely efficient efficient to our best of our abilities but i want to change that i want to make an investment in me i want to make an investment in juan and what we're doing our future and that's what we're doing here. That's what we're doing. Juan, come here real quick. I, I wanna talk to them a little bit more kind of about everything that's going on and why we're doing this, all right? So Juan and I are, we're getting an apartment. Moving in together. <laughs> that's, that's a cool thumbnail. We're moving in together. Ready? Okay, we're moving in together, that's a thumbnail. But um, seriously, so we're, we're looking at this apartment. Uh, we're likely gonna pull the trigger and this is going to be our office space. This is gonna be our studio. This is gonna be our podcast area. This is going to be everything we've ever wanted in one. It's cool to have a space just dedicated to creating. It's insane because I mean, you and your place, me and my place, it's always like we're kind of finding pockets to create or yeah. pockets of time or pockets of space. And now it's like a dedicated place where we, whenever you walk in it's to create it's kind of gives me chills dude. i know right? it's, 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 it's and the coolest thing we're going to be able to make this ours we, we've been shooting at so many different locations we've been shooting at different studios all over the world <laughs> quite frankly <laughs> um well soon enough all over the world but all over the country um damn no all over the world yeah damn this is insane um <laughs> but now we're going to be able to, to make an environment ours and to shoot whatever we want however we want in the quality that we want to give to you guys the best of the best and it's one small investment and it is scary you know it's a lot of money you know this is an over a thirty thousand dollar a year commitment and i'm ready to make that commitment um i'm ready to see where we can take this and i'm somebody who's either all in or all out i don't i don't like you know one foot in one foot out kind of mentality 
and we've been able to build something special here. And with the help of you guys, you know, we're able to continue to chase our dream in the manner of the way we want to. So do you have any advice to somebody who, you know, might be looking to make a leap or anything? It's, it's funny, I was just talking to my wife about this. It's you, it's scary to take the leap, but life, keep, life keeps going on, you know? And if you ever have like a safety net, if you have a part-time job, just trying to be like, just in case I go back on this, like I was terrified that I wasn't be able, gonna be able to pay rent <laughs> with a camera. And now I've purchased cars, I've purchased a house, we're looking at a second house, we're looking at a, part, a secondary apartment as an office, all because of this camera, because of my relationship with Alex, my relationship with my clients. It's, life will keep going on if you just sit down, do a good job, treat people well with respect, just be professional. And follow your passion. I can't stress that enough, guys. It might sound nice cliche, but follow your passion. You never know what's gonna lead you. So we're gonna pull the trigger and you're gonna see a lot of cool content from us moving forward and things are gonna be elevated. You know, Juan is, but... Okay, no worries. Oh. She has to get back to the office. <laughs> but um, again, guys, this one's for you guys. Stay tuned.